Ribbon Communications delivers global software and network solutions to service providers, enterprises and critical infrastructure sectors. Well, joining me now to discuss the company's strategy and industry developments is Bruce McClelland, who is President and CEO of Ribbon Communications. Hello, Bruce. Very nice to see you. Hi, Guy. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, for those of our audience who are not as familiar with Ribbon, can you provide us a little bit of background to the company? Yeah, thanks very much, Guy, and uh, great to be with you here today. You know, Ribbon may not be a household name, but we actually support a lot of households around the world with the technology that we provide. Um, Ribbon Communications kind of came into existence about three years ago with the merger of two companies, a company called GenBand and another company called Sonus. And like many technology companies, we're really an aggregation of a variety of companies that have come together over the years. So have just a, you know, a great heritage and a really strong technology foundation particularly around voice over IP and the transition from traditional TDM networks to voice over IP. We're a public company. Uh, we're listed on the NASDAQ here in North America with headquarters based in Boston. We have about 4,000 employees uh, spread around the world. And we're a global company, about 50% of our business inside of the US market and about 50% uh, in over 140 countries around the world. Can you give us a sense of the company's main areas of focus today? Well, most recently, earlier this year, we merged with another company called ECI Telecom. And so that really expanded our focus uh, beyond just voice over IP technology into the world of data communications. And so we now uh, have a, a pretty broad focus around uh, the evolution of the traditional uh, voice network supporting voice over IP and unified communications collaboration platforms like the one we're using here today, as well as into the infrastructure that really supports networking, uh, high speed optical communications, um, you know, high performance networking equipment, and uh, ultimately supporting the upgrade cycle towards next generation 5G networks. Can we talk more about ECI? Because last March, just as you were coming on board as the new CEO, Ribbon announced that the merger with ECI had closed. What was the rationale for that merger and how does it inform the company's go-to-market approach now? The merger with ECI was pretty important for the company and actually one of the things that really attracted me to join Ribbon, you know, that infrastructure that supports broadband communications and wireless communications is critical and there'll be a constant investment in continuing to add capacity to the network and so the the philosophy or the the logic behind combining ribbon and eci was really to broaden that exposure uh to be you know more in the sweet spot of where the investment cycles will be going forward and increase the expertise of the company again, beyond voice over IP into data communications. From a go-to-market perspective, we sell that technology both to service providers and carriers around the world, as well as to large enterprise that, that build their own communications network, critical infrastructure providers, uh, federal governments, um, uh, you know, a whole variety of different types of, of clients today. So from a Go to market perspective, uh, it was really important that we quickly brought the organizations together, unified them, made sure we had uh, you know a single set of of, uh, of sales professionals addressing each of the major accounts, and the real focus is on being able to cross sell the entire portfolio into broader market. In particular, uh, Ribbon has got a strong presence here in North America, and so we're really focused on penetrating this market with our packet optical portfolio and becoming a larger player here in North America. Internationally, ECI had a great presence in, in Europe and regions in, uh, in Asia like India, uh, the former Soviet Union countries. And again, we're leveraging that presence to bring the, the entire portfolio to market. I'd like to pick up on one international region if I could, and that's the EMEA region. What industry trends are you seeing in the EMEA region? And also, what are your priorities here? Yeah, there's a number of interesting trends in, in the Europe region that are somewhat similar to, I think, what we see globally. 
um, in particular with the transition to uh, work from home for many enterprises, the adoption rate of unified communications and collaboration platforms has accelerated probably five years into the future. And our role in that is basically providing technology to be the, the on-ramp from the traditional PSTN phone network into these collaboration platforms. And in many cases, uh, in addition to being on net with the communications, you know, you're connected in through your mobile phone or through your, your land phone from home. And that's the type of technology that we provide to uh, provide a really highly secure uh, connection between collaboration platforms and the existing network. So we work really closely with partners like Microsoft with their Teams deployment or Zoom with their Zoom phone deployment as these technologies ultimately replace the traditional phone systems inside enterprises, uh, the traditional on-premise or, or cloud-based PBX systems. And I think the adoption rate will continue to grow and accelerate in an area that we're really focused in. Of course, in addition to that, uh, the ongoing growth in traffic drives investment in the capacity and the infrastructure for broadband networks. And again, we provide the infrastructure, the high-speed fiber optic connectivity, and the very high performance switching and routing fabric that sits on top of the, the fiber network. And so we think uh, there'll be continued growth and investment around that part of the network. And then of course, you know, the industry's uh, spending a lot of time talking about the upgrade towards 5G mobile technology from the existing 4G LTE network. And we think over the next several years, there's a big focus in Europe uh, around expanding capacity, increasing and improving coverage, and then ultimately unlocking and enabling advanced uh, enterprise services for things like private networking over top of the mobile infrastructure. And we've provided some really unique capabilities in our products to enable that. So those are some of the, the real focus areas for us uh, in, the, in the EMEA region uh, guy going forward. Well, let's pick up on the enterprise sector. How does Ribbon engage with the enterprise market? Yeah, so that's a really important part of our business and obviously an area that is constantly evolving and our enterprise customers, you know, constantly looking to upgrade the technology and capabilities for, um, for their clients and, and for their internal needs. Uh, in particular, this adoption rate of unified communications kind of cloud-based services is a big focus area. So we really uh, address that market in a couple of different ways. For the really large enterprises, typically we're selling directly, uh, working with their IT organizations, deploying technologies directly into their data centers and enabling a really you know, highly secure, robust uh, communications platform for internal communication needs for their call centers, a variety of different applications. In many cases, we're working with IT systems integrators that are bundling together a set of technologies or solutions for their clients and so we're enabling them with a set of products and, and management systems to enhance and, and deploy, again, unified communications, additional broadband capacity, those sorts of things. And then finally, in many cases, we're actually working with our service provider customers, uh, working with them as a channel partner uh, as they grow and, and, and evolve uh, the business they're doing with their enterprise clients. So we're really collaboratively selling with them into the market. So a whole variety of different ways we try and get at the enterprise portion of, of the industry and uh, a really strong focus area for us. You spoke earlier about the transition from LTE 4G to 5G. Ribbon has a 5G event coming up in the next few weeks. What details can you share with us now? Yeah, I'm really excited about our, uh, our 5G event. Uh, we've assembled just a, a great set of industry experts uh, ribbon product specialists, market specialists, uh, and a number of industry experts to talk about you know, their perspective of what's going on globally. And then a number of our customers have agreed to join us and talk about their perspective on the market and you know, how they see the transition, both from a traditional uh, mobile carrier perspective, providing services uh, to consumers, as well as some of these advanced services that, uh, that everyone expects to generate incremental revenue uh, for the ecosystem. So I think it's gonna be a great event. We've just, uh, we've got a, a super lineup ahead of us and really excited about uh, that coming up in a few weeks. Well, we look forward to seeing that. But for now, Bruce, thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thanks very much, really appreciate it.